Hey guys, how are you? I just want to give somebody words of encouragement. I was speaking to someone early, early this morning on a coaching call and um you know she was saying stuff like what do i do if someone tries to use my past against me or what happens if someone tries to do that and i want to just say it i want to give you guys this words of encouragement because i told her this but i feel like i should i should share this with you guys as well listen everybody has a past we shouldn't be walking around on eggshells being afraid that anyone will use our past against us because every single human being on this planet has a past every single human being on this planet has sinned you know the problem is there's a lot of people that like to throw rocks from glass houses and as i was telling her the ones who throw the rocks from the glass houses they end up being the more most damaged in the end so if anyone tries to ever use their past against you it's never gonna work out for them it's always gonna backfire it's always gonna backfire because the way the lord sees it is everybody has a past everyone has a past that's why god always tells us don't judge people you have to remember that paul had a past before paul was preaching preaching and and and, and preaching the gospel and how and saving people he had a past before isaiah was preaching he had a past okay before um timothy was preaching he had a past before noah was preaching he had a past you know before all the prophets in the bible were preaching they all had a past Okay, for Noah, he had a past. Everybody has a past. Everyone has a past. Just because you, you have a, a past does not mean God can't use you. A lot of Christians today like to throw rocks from glass houses. They always think they're so saint and, and they, they don't sin and, and all that stuff. And then they judge people who have a past and think they're holier than saint. Well, guess what? These are the same types of people who end up being judged the most from the Lord. You know why? Because God knows the hearts of those who have changed and god knows that everybody has a past so anyone tries to use your past against you don't let it phase you don't let it stop you keep pushing forward because let me tell you something it takes strength to change it takes strength to take the initiative to change it's not easy to change and a lot of people choose to stay in their ways rather than to change and the fact that you went out of your way to change that says a lot about you that's a big step because not many people actually change not in order to change you got to take responsibility for your actions you got to take responsibility for your actions you have to do some inner healing in order for you to change and that's big and like i said not everybody does that right so remember that everyone on this planet everyone on this planet has a past so so for someone to take your past and use it against you is hypocritical because the person that's taking your past and using it against you they have a past too do you get what i'm saying they have a past too and, and it, in the eyes of the lord it's gonna look hypocritical because everyone has a past right so don't let anyone who knows about your past or tries to use your past again don't let that stop you and don't let that phase you if anything you have a testimony now you get what i'm saying and that's what makes you powerful is that you have a testimony in order to have a testimony you have to do the work and you have to pass the test in order to have a testimony okay and this is part of the reason why um last night's video um that i put out the remorseful video why i put it on private god never told me to put it on private or anything like that i just felt like the delivery of that video i feel like yeah i had to put the message out but i felt like i should have been more compassionate and maybe i should have uplifted the person who was feeling remorseful because the video was mainly just me telling you the person feels remorseful and i was seeing everybody in the comment section well too bad for them good for them they deserve it da -da 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 -da. and i felt bad seeing all that because i'm like wow the person that's feeling remorseful obviously changed obviously made changes and 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 did the healing is doing the inner work as to why they feel remorseful in the first place so it's it kind of felt like beating them down while they're already down while they're already feeling the guilt and while they're already feeling the shame it's like you're kind of beating them down right so i put it on private until like i get further instructions from the lord whether to re to release it or not but because i want to make sure that i'm not putting someone down when they're already down even though like 
I delivered the message. I feel like I don't want the person to feel that way because guys, I have people from both perspectives that watch me. I have people who feel hurt from what was done to them, but I also have people who have changed and who are trying to change and who are learning and who are actually feeling bad for what they did, right? So I'm trying to be compassionate as well. So if God says, hey, you didn't do anything wrong or it's okay, they understand you're putting the message out, you should take it off private, then I'll take it off private. Until then, I'll just keep it on private. Um, but yeah, guys, everyone has a past. And like I said before, don't let anyone use your past against you. Like, don't anyone try to shame you for your past. It's not about what who you used to be. It's about who you are today. People try to shame me about my past all the time um, because I used to read Oracle cards and Tarot, not realizing that before I even went into New Age and read Oracle cards and Tarot, I already had a relationship with God before I even went into New Age. I went into New Age from church hurt, right? And it's mainly the same people that caused the church hurt to begin with are the same ones that are trying to use my past against me. Listen, there's people out there who need to be saved. There's people out there who are sinning. There's people out there who are doing witchcraft on YouTube, who are teaching people how to do spells, who are openly talking about this stuff, but they continue coming after someone who loves the Lord and who is trying to help the right way, who is trying to teach people. Okay, and that's why I say all the time, like, you gotta ignore these types of people. Just continue pushing forward, y'all. Anyone going through this, just continue pushing forward and ignore the critics okay and let me tell you something when you have a testimony people don't like you okay continue moving forward and continue with your testimonies i love you guys i'll talk to you soon bye